Hi, my name is Anthony Walsh. I'm doing my intellectual AV uh, mix um, on the uh, Black Arts Movement. Uh, I did the Black Arts Movement for my author discussion a couple weeks ago, and I really enjoyed it, so that's why I chose to uh, also do it for this project as well. I wanted to dive deeper into um, the leader of the uh, Black Arts Movement as well as some of the music um, and during the time. Um, and I kind of just wanted to figure, like, really just dive deeper into, like, what the movie was all about and how it began. And, um, yeah. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Um, this is going to be my intellectual AV mix. The Black Arts Movement began in 1965 and continued on through 1975. The movement has also been called the Second Coming of the Harlem, Re of the Harlem Renaissance. In early 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated, and this created a large outburst within the black community. The Black Power Movement then split into two sides, the Black Panther Party and the Culture and Na Cultural Nationalists. The Cultural Nationalists were the creators of the Black Arts Movement. The movement, uh, the movement began in New York and uh, Harlem, then spread to Chicago, Detroit, and made its way to San Francisco. This movement saw more publications of black authors and poets and showed a strong presence of black theater. The Culture and Nationalists called for the creation of poetry, novels, visual arts, and theater to reflect pride in black history and culture. This new emphasis was an affirmation of the autonomy of black artists to create black art for black people as a means to awaken black consciousness and achieve liberation. Imamu Amiri Baraka, uh, born as Leroy Jones, is known as the father of the Black Arts Movement. In 1965, he opened the Black Arts Repertory Theater in Harlem. He believed in a nonviolent movement to gain more power for the black community. He believed in using forms of art to show pride in black history and culture. The hope of the movement was to awaken black consciousness and achieve liberation through pride. One of his most important polarizing works was his plays was uh, his plays he wrote that were against police brutality which at the time was not common to confront the police by opening the theater Baraka paved the way for other black artists to open their own institution and further the movement Thelonious Monk was born in 1917 in North Carolina he was one of the century's most innovative jazz musicians Monk taught himself to play the piano and later began studying at the Juilliard School of Music in New York. After school, he began playing in many different venues, with his first real start playing at Milton's Playhouse, which was a prominent nightclub. Monk came, into the, came onto the scene with a new style of jazz that many audiences didn't feel at first, but other musicians saw what he was doing and picked up on his style. So it took Monk a little bit to have his first hit albums, um, as it didn't come until years into his career. Uh, one of his most famous influences was John Coltrane, who said, Working with Monk brought me, close to, brought me close to a musical architect of the highest order. I felt I learned from him in every way, through the senses, theoretically, technically. In 2006, Monk was awarded a Pulitzer Prize for music.